Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Donna and it's time for Hashtag Tea Tuesday. This is an open collaboration hosted by Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. Everyone's welcome to join in. All you do is grab yourself something to drink, tell what you're having, and then share a little something. And today I am having tea. I'm drinking it in my the most wonderful time of year mug because it is the most wonderful time of year when my favorite tea comes out. It only comes out once a year and it is the Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. I love this tea so much. It is so yummy and I am not like a huge tea drinker. I love this tea, but sadly I do not have a Trader Joe's nearby. However, I do have a very sweet friend, a dear friend, Many of you know her, Janet, Janet Kay over at Sunflowers and Crafts, and she blessed me with the most beautiful love package, I'm calling it, because it was full of so much love, and in there was this tea, and I am enjoying it so much, as she knows, so thank you again, Janet. I love it, love it, love it. And then this weekend, I received a card in the mail, a surprise from my friend Nicole over at Grandma's Baby Corner, right? I wanna make sure I got your channel name right, Nicole. Yes, Grandma's Baby Corner. Now, Nicole is so sweet and she has beautiful dolls that she shares. I want to convince Nicole to share her craftiness too, to make some videos because look how crafty she is. She made this card. So it is beautiful. Thank you so much, Nicole. That really blessed my weekend too. Oh, gorgeous, right? Look at that. So I will have Janet's and Nicole's channels listed below in case anyone does not know them. And now for what I'm sharing today is planning. That's right. Well, three of you out there that I know of, um, have convinced me to get busy planning. Let's see if I can get you in there. So my friend Kiki over at Kiki's Life has hashtag plan with Kiki. And then Jazzy over at Crafty Girl Chronicles, she has hashtag plan fun, get things done. And then Miss Brenda over at Maniac Grammy's Homestead, she has hashtag plan with me 24. Okay. So I get the hint, it's time to get planning. Three of you are telling me it's time to get planning, get things in order. So, and I have no excuse because guess what? Kiki blessed me with a planner. So I have no excuse. I need to get myself together. I really do. So, all right, let's see. We're gonna start, I'll share what I've got going on for this week. Let's see, am I in focus at all? Probably not. That's about the best I can do. I hope that helps. All right, that's the best I can do. Anyway, so for this week, I started over here. I've got this week's goals. I've got finish book because I have been slacking on reading. And I have been reading, I started this book here, The Nazi Officer's Wife, How One Jewish Woman Survived the Holocaust. This is such a good read, and I don't know why I'm taking so long to read it, but I just need to focus, that's why. So if you ever read Kristen Hanna's The Nightingale and you loved that book, that is one of my favorite books, then you will like this as well if you haven't read this. I also wanna catch up on Deck the Year because I am way behind. And I want to lose two pounds. Well, that's always every week, right? Because every Monday is a new start to a diet. God's mercies are new every morning. Lose two pounds, Donna. I try not to make it such a big deal. Two pounds shouldn't be that bad. But I seriously want to start really, I need to focus on my health better. I got two crazy um, diagnoses just over the past couple weeks that kind of threw me for a loop. Now, losing two pounds is not going to fix these two things. Many of you deal with these and far worse. And, you know, I've had whatever issues I have had, these two added onto it just kind of surprised me. But it's a good reminder that, you know, we never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So I learned I have glaucoma and osteoporosis. 
through a routine, a bone scan. Um, I knew I had very bad arthritis and I thought that's what most of my pain and issues were coming from, but it turns out, no, not so much. So ladies, um, gentlemen too, but it mainly of course affects ladies. Um, take your vitamin D and take good care of yourself. Now, some of it like me apparently is probably genetic you know some things are out of our control but things that are in our control we need to do and for cleaning i also wrote down zone three because i follow the fly ladies zone cleaning method um if you've ever watched fly lady on youtube or diane in denmark she's got like the 31 days of baby steps that's an old video series but it's really good and she still does fly lady. Well, anyhow, this week is zone three, which means for me, that is the sunroom, the office, the bathroom to the office, the garage. And for my garage this week, it's gonna be cleaning my car um, because the garage is fine. It's, it's good enough. So with the zone cleaning, what it is, is you have certain things that you do each day routine to take keep up with your housework but then these would be special areas that you might do something extra an extra deep cleaning in so things just get broken out and it's not very stressful and if you don't get to it you don't get to it that's what i love like jazzy always reminds us plan fun get things done but we don't stress when we can't get to something like the world's not going to end if by the end of the week i don't get my car clean like friday is my plan for the car but if it doesn't happen, it's okay, it's fine. And then no, I go, uh, what I wanna focus on, well, I was focus on Jesus, cause you put Jesus first, you know, God first, and everything else can fall into place. My water intake, I wanna work on that. My sleep, I need to work on my sleep, getting straight sleep, not broken like it is. And then just my diet, not, not necessarily the diet about losing two pounds, but my diet, anti-inflammatory, watching what I have. Okay, that's that. So the week, how it's going. We got Monday, I've got my water aerobics. I'm having coffee with a friend, do some work. And then in Fly Lady Day, it's called Home Blessing Day. That is when you just take an hour and you go through and do like a quick clean. Like it's not a deep clean of everything. It's just your basic routine of your swish and your swipe and a quick vacuum, a quick sweep, a quick dust, you know, just take your sheets off your bed, wash your sheets, yada, yada, get that done. For dinner, I planned minestrone soup and garlic bread that already changed and that's okay. We're having lentil soup and no bread. Um, I wasn't going to eat the garlic bread anyhow, but my husband's okay with just the soup. He can just have like some crackers or something with that. He's good. Tuesday is what's called plan and play day in the fly lady. So again, I've got my morning aerobics and I have two friends for Tuesday. So if you're watching this on Tuesday, I have two friends having surgery. And so today is going to be a day of praying for them and just concerned for them as they go through what they're having to go through. Dinner will be a big salad. I've got, you know, space here to write in what else I'm going to do as I go. Wednesday is anti-procrastination day. So that's if you have something that you've been putting off in your housework or whatever it may be, this is the day to work on that. Well, Wednesday for me, it just it's fun day see it says drink tea read books enjoy life i do not have to work i do not go to water aerobics and normally i do but they're not going to have it and i'm gonna have the house to myself so i'm just gonna enjoy wednesday and i'm gonna probably watch catch up on emily in paris on netflix and it's tuna melts for dinner Thursday is again aerobics appointments errand day and dinner is loaded baked potatoes and scrambled eggs. Friday aerobics I don't have anything written out yet of what I'm doing for work but I will write that later um, and in fly lady it's called date night and so you would clean your car and your purse so again that's why I've got the car over there I'm gonna 
work on my car, hopefully. <laughs> Clean out my purse, because you know things collect in there. And for a date night for us, it's gonna be Netflix and some low carb pizza, because <laughs> that's how we roll. And then Saturday, family a fun day. Do something fun, get out there. Hopefully the sun is shining and we'll see simple dinner, turkey subs and chips, something like that. And Sunday is kind of spirit refresh day. So church, it's the first day of autumn. So I think I should make some chili, right? Chili is such a good fall winter thing. There is beauty and simplicity. I love this sticker. So. That's the plan. I've got the planners going. I've got my wonderful tea. I've got beautiful friends. God bless you all. And I will check in later. Bye.